Hi, welcome to TechSR. In our previous video, we have seen what is an API and how the API works by using Amazon.com as a real-time example. You can find the link of this video in the description. In today's video, we are going to see why an API testing is required and how we are going to make use of Talent API Tester to test the APIs. First, we can see why an API testing is required. Once the API is created, we as a developer or tester need to validate few conditions like how the API will behave when the expected values are given properly and then how the API will behave when we give that improper, incorrect values or unexpected values, how the API is going to behave. So those positive and negative test cases we need to test. Let me explain it with a sample API. So let's assume this uh, API which retrieves the customer information based on the IDs we passed. So in this API, I have only three customers. Okay, so let's test the positive scenario. So I will try with the customer ID as one. So I'm getting the information. So if I pass it as two, I will get the result. And here you can see, right? So I am just changing the customer to smaller C. Still, I am able to get the result. So now the negative test cases. So let's say I am passing the customer which is not there. So I have already said we have only three customers. So let's say with four. So it should say not found. Yes. So the four not four not found. Customer details not found. We can try with some more negative test cases like passing the string value instead of a number. It says the validation error 400. And we can try with some different domain names. The request will fail. It will take some time and no response provided. So next we can try this as well. It's still failing. So we can at last try one more positive scenarios to make sure it is correct. These kind of testings can be done in the API tester. Instead of running the web interface in the browser and seeing how the UI works for every request, we can test it quickly with usage of this API tester. Next, we can see why a talent API tester is needed when a developer can use the Swagger itself. So let me go into the Swagger UI. So here we can see list of APIs which are created. So let me take this API, get customers. So I can run it here itself. So it provides a list of customers. And also I can get a customer by ID which we did previously. So I can pass one and get the result. So here it also provides a result. Then why do we need the talent API tester? Let me explain it. So let us consider this scenario. I want to minimize this, but you here I can't minimize it. And also I want to save this post detail once and need to run it on a single click. It will be difficult. So first we can see the talent API tester, what and all the features we have, then it will be easier to compare between the swagger and the talent API tester. Uh, let me take this URL and check it in the talent API tester. So to open the talent API tester, we need to go to extensions, talent API tester. So once it is open, you can paste the URL here and the request type is get. Uh, the header information, we don't need it for now. I will explain it in the upcoming videos, like what are the headers, types and all. So now we can submit it. So once we send, we can see the output here. So you can see the formatting difference between the swagger and he talent API tester. So you can minimize this as it needed. And also you can copy paste, like you can display line numbers, you can copy it and paste it on the notepad file. And also you can format this type like it is now pretty. So you can see the raw data. And in the header side, you can see the complete header as well. Okay, next we can try with the get by ID API. So we can see one by one API here. So first we see in this. So next we can see get customer by ID. So I'm just passing an ID here. So I'm getting the value here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check with ID 4. So there is no customer ID detail found for 4. So what we can do now is we can insert a customer with ID 4. So for that we can do the post which will create a customer. So this is the body. So let me take this.
so that the type is post and application slash json is the content type we can in the body we can give the details so the api url is post api slash customer and we can give the values ideas for first name maybe i will give my name here and click on send so now we can see it is successful and the user id has created so we can check it with the get api again so now you can see the customer id 4 has been created with the details we have passed so we can check it with an id as well so the user has been created now we can check the update now so in Swagger we first check the update API the put and patch are used for update so let me copy the put for now okay this is same as the previous request so we don't need to copy it so j just use the put here the body will be same so instead of Ravi uh, in addresses Chennai I am just mentioning as Redels so now this should uh, be an update okay so the details have been updated we can verify it again using the get so the details has been updated now we can delete the customer id 3 let's see what is the customer id 3 here so this is ad demo so we have to delete this customer so for that we need to get this delete api so delete api and we need to pass an id here so we can try it first here with the 3 id to get the complete url and click on execute so this is the api url it deletes the customer 3 and returns only 1 2 and 4 so we can try the same thing and delete the customer id 2 in the talent api tester okay i have passed an additional quotes here okay the response is 200 so the user would have been deleted now we have only customer id 1 and 4 we can cross check again by using the get api if we try to get the customer id 2 it should throw 404 not found and also 3 also been deleted so now we have performed basic crud operation with both the talent api tester and swagger both look same but uh, this uh, talent api tester has few advantages like viewing the response in pretty clear format next we can see some of the advanced features which are in talent api tester the first feature we're going to see is the history tab so if you look at here there's a history tab is there if you click on it we can see what are the requests we made it will be easier to navigate to previous requests and also it will be grouped based on the domains so you can see here right? for now we have only single domain so this is https localhost and this is another domain http localhost and we have tried some more domains some invalid wrong as well, like invalid domains as well http localhost so it will be grouped like this and the next feature is the repository which is the most useful feature we can save the request we can click on the repository tab create new project let me give the project name as web api demo i don't want scenarios for now i will explain about the scenario later create so the, now the new project has been created what we can do is we can hit an api now let me hit the customer api itself so i can save this api as so inside web API demo I can save as get all customers now I can save one more API to get the customer by ID so it gets customer by single ID I can save it as so now I saved two requests in case if I need to navigate to the previous one I can just simply click on this and these requests can be run whenever I needed it 
like this I can create many requests as I needed. I can have post and copy this as a body. So I'm not going to post it now. I'm just going to save this request. So I'm going to save as create customer. Save. So whenever I need to get all customers I can click on this and if I need to create a customer I can just click on it and just update these values and create it and also we can create the same for delete as well so by this way we can easily navigate between the request easily we can add multiple projects like this let's say this is one of the project I am working and we can add another project as let's say I am creating one more web API demo 2 so it will create one more project and it got created with scenario but we don't need this scenario for now if needed we can delete this you can remove the request or project like I want to remove this project means I can just click on this and remove it next feature we are going to see is the environmental variable let's say like uh, we are currently using localhost 7094 so uh, this is my local development in case if I need to publish this in the staging environment or a production environment this URL will change like the entire part won't change just the host name will change so I need to make like different projects or create a multiple files like delete customer local delete customer production delete customer staging like that multiple I need to create or I need to create multiple projects like web API local web API staging web API production so instead of that we can make use of the environmental variables so what we can do is so we can click on add environmental variable so first I can say it is my local dev okay so in this I can give the host and value as local host 7094 and I'm saving this I can make use of this variable here by just replacing it with host if I click on send okay, let me check local host 7094 so it should be dollar I think so we can verify it so you can see right how to use it for example use dollar sign so we need to use dollar sign before and then the double quotes so I'm going to use dollar sign before and try to run it now the request is passed so we can save this for now the same we can do for all customers as well So we are getting value for this but how this will help for other environment let's say now currently my application is running on localhost 7094 so I am going to change this port 7094 to 7095 and see if this application still works or not I'm just stopping my application so I'm changing 7094 to 7093 for now and run it so the application is now running in 7093 we can check in the post talent API tester now ok now I am going to run this the host is not found because the host name we are trying is localhost 904 but the actual domain name is 7093 let me create one more environmental variable here let me name it as staging just for testing purpose so I'm adding the variable name here as same host and using localhost 907093 sorry and saved so now I can run this so I didn't change anything in the request I just changed the variable environmental variable 
and it looked like working so you can see it is now pointing to 7093 and we can test it with the customer ID itself get customer by ID so it is still working so with this single drop down change we can make this work the local dev is 7094 and staging is pointing to 7093 so I am trying on like once again with 7094 it should fail and we can try again with the staging which is 7093 so it works the next feature is we can export this entire project like I can click on export so it will ask for what another projects I needed so let me say I want to explore this and I also export this global variables I created I can name it as test API API and export so I can open this and the last feature is the scenarios so I can go to the scenarios tab or I can click scenarios here as well so let me go to scenarios here so for this existing project it will show so I am going to add scenarios for this delete customer this already the request is there so what I can do is I can play this but uh, I don't have any assertion for this so what I can do is I can edit the request and add assertion what is assertion is just it will check okay I can go to here and add an assertion because delete we don't need to check it so we can check for the get customer by ID okay assertion is just a unit testing it will validate whether the proper response written so let's say this first assertion says that status code equals 200 so if the status code is 200 it will return success let me play it so it is success so if I try to check if the status code is 404 if I run it it should fail like expected is 404 but received 200 we can try with some invalid IDs and try to play it so this actually passes like this we can perform the unit testing inside this itself and this also supports multiple assertions like we can also give the headers and also JSON body let's say the JSON body I can give the JSON path so let's say I have only one ID here for one so I can check the JSON path like dollar dot first name equals it should be Tom and status should be 200 so let me play it again it should work and if I try with some other ID the first name will differ so it should fail so like this we can perform the unit testing using the assertion scenarios as well so here also it will show as a red we can clearly indicate like in case if you are going to run this entire scenarios we can simply go to scenarios and run it here itself whether it is getting passed or not this also have a warning because these two APIs are failed get all customers is passed so like that we can see all the details here itself and also we can remove the scenarios if needed we can switch between the request and scenarios view using this tab so if I click on request it will turn into request we can directly click on this and navigate to this so this actually fails because the local host 7094 is not the URL the URL which we are using is 7093 that's why it's getting failed here also it's getting failed because of this that's why in scenarios tab we got the warnings and also you can get more information by clicking on the help icon it will take you to the talent help page so where you can see a lot of options available you can explore yourself so now we can say there are a lot of advantages in using the talent API tester in comparison with swagger in our upcoming video we can see how to create a web API using the .NET 7 which I already created here I will show it in a step by step and then we can see what is the authorization and then what's the difference between authorization and authentication what are the different types of headers and why do we need headers in more detail to get more useful information like this subscribe to TechSR thanks for watching